So if you have started, please unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So today uh, we are going to start a new topic, uh, face recognition. So face recognition uh, is a widely used uh, biometric system. And on the other hand, uh, face recognition is a very challenging uh, biometrics uh, trade. Okay, so uh, today uh, we are going to see the different uh, different aspects of face recognition systems, as well as we will see the different uh, features, uh, different level of features uh, that are used for uh, face recognition, and then uh, we will talk about a uh, little bit about uh, face recognition uh, subsystems and. Uh, then the, we will talk about uh, uh, face recognition uh, face recognition uh, systems so where uh, different uh, challenges uh, different challenges uh, we face for recognizing the faces okay now uh, what is the what is the idea behind face recognition now here you can see that uh, on the right hand side we have a set of faces okay so we have a number of faces and this number of faces uh, will be stored in a database okay and then uh, we can have uh, we can have uh, some unknown face and that face is to be matched with uh, some faces in the some face in the database okay now we have to find out what is the true match uh, true match uh, of the uh, given unknown face okay now that true match uh, will be from the same person or from the different person so here true match means the close match okay so here uh, we will be given a face database okay now some unknown uh, face uh, will be coming and that face will be matched with some face in the database okay and uh, whenever we will find some match then uh, it may be from the same person that means the pair of faces um, that are matched from the same person or from the different persons okay so we will take the close match uh, corresponding to uh, corresponding to the unknown face for verification purpose also we can verify whether uh, this face uh, is uh, this face is uh, is matched with some uh, known face or not okay now human face images are useful not only for uh, person recognition but also uh, it reveals some other attributes like uh, gender age ethnicity genetic disorder emotional state of a person so so apart from uh, person recognition or person identification so face image can be used for uh, gender identification and then age determination ethnicity determination genetic de disorder determination and uh, emotional state uh, determination of a person okay now humans are good in perceiving familiar faces as cognitive processes help humans to recognize faces in difficult situation now if we want to have the same cognitive processes to be instilled in some machine that means the uh, that uh, if, if 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 some machine or a computer mimic that cognitive processes which are uh, which are the which are the uh, which are the uh, part of a uh, part of a human brain then uh, like human faces uh, or like humans uh, who are uh, good in perceiving familiar faces 
can also be uh, can also be used for training a machine to recognize faces okay so uh, it is a very challenging task now if we uh, if we if we design some machine which can recognize faces as humans then uh, that becomes and that becomes uh, that becomes an easy for humans to uh, recognize the faces through a machine okay now there are some uh, there are uh, general methods which are used in object recognition such as appearance based method model based method texture based approaches so which are also applicable to the specific problem of face detection and recognition so basically uh, if, if we if we go through the image processing uh, book then we will see there is a separate chapter on object recognition okay now for object recognition uh, we can use appearance based method we can use model based method we can use texture based method so face recognition is nothing but uh, nothing but a pattern recognition problem or object recognition problem so therefore and the uh, the approaches or the techniques which are used for object recognition or pattern recognition can also be applicable for face recognition okay so therefore the same approaches or the same techniques we can used for face recognition now the face is the frontal portion of the human head okay so it is extending from the forehead to the chin and in it includes the mouth nose cheeks eyes now here mouth nose eyes are the eyes are called major features okay and rest of the features on the face are called minor features so here face is considered to be the most commonly used biometric trait by humans so here we recognize each other and uh, in many cases uh, we can establish our uh, we can establish our identities based on faces okay so therefore it has become a standard practice to incorporate face in photographs in various tokens of authentication so here token various token means the position based tokens okay now in case of in case of position based tokens we can incorporate the face photograph for authentication purpose so such as different id cards passport and driving licenses because face is uh, through face human can recognize uh, other persons or familiar uh, familiar faces so therefore so face is a face image is a natural choice uh, for human identification or person recognition therefore this face uh, photographs or face images are incorporated in different position based tokens for authentication purpose okay so different uh, position based uh, uh, tokens means different id cards passport driving license okay so we can use this uh, we can use these tokens for authentication or identification as the face images are incorporated in those tokens now uh, when uh, exactly when the face recognition uh, was started so uh, there is a fascinating uh, history of face recognition so uh, first uh, uh, face recognition uh, system was developed by bledsoe and team uh, in the year of 1965 where different uh, manual measurement uh, different manual measurement are used to detect the facial features okay so different manual measurement means the manually manually uh, some geometric uh, geometric measurements are taken so uh, geometric measurement means the distance from nose to eye distance from nose to mouth corner uh, to mouth corners distance from nose tip to uh, mouth center so these are the different geometric measures so manually that are taken by bledsoe and team okay then uh, goldstein uh, came with came with another set of facial features uh, 21 facial features in the year of 1970 and uh, then based on these facial features kanade introduced first automated 
uh, face recognition system in the year of 1973. And then uh, in 1987, Sirovich and Kirby uh, introduced uh, uh, principal component analysis. And then uh, in 1991, uh, Dark and Pentland use this principal component analysis to create eigen eigenphase. Okay, now this eigenphase is then used for face recognition. So basically, uh, whatever uh, whatever the whatever the principal component analysis was introduced by Sirovich and Kirby was used by Dark and Pentland uh, for uh, creating eigenphase in the year of. 1991 okay then fissure faces uh, fissure faces were introduced by uh, rama chelepa and team in the year of 1996 okay and then uh, fully automated face recognition system was uh, system was introduced uh, by wiscott and team which is called ebgm elastic bunch graph matching technique okay so this elastic bunch graph matching technique was the first feature based uh, feature based face recognition system which was uh, which was developed in the year of 1999 okay then parallelly uh, there was another program was running uh, in uh, by darpa uh, from 1993 to 2000 uh, which is called ferret program okay so ferret program uh, ferret program is nothing but the face recognition program uh, which uh, which which was running by darpa so darpa is as you know that darpa is a part of us government so uh, this darpa basically uh, research on uh, research on different uh, different defense uh, about different uh, defense systems so as part of a uh, different system ferret program was running between 1993 and 2000 okay then uh, then to, in 2001 first phase detection algorithm was uh, introduced by viola viola and uh, jones so which uh, which was based on adaboost and har cascade so uh, this is the brief history history of phase recognition system Now, how we will define face recognition? So, face recognition uh, measures and matching distinctive and unique characteristics of faces for the purpose of verification or identification. That means, for verification or identification, we use the face images. Okay, and these face images uh, containing uh, different facial characteristics. So, based on these facial characteristics, a person can be a person can be verified or a person can be identified okay now uh, since here face recognition is a very natural choice for human beings to identify or verify other persons so uh, basically uh, it is the it is the natural instincts for human beings uh, to uh, use the face uh, to uh, to identify or verify the other persons okay or or uh, or familiar persons so therefore human means expect to develop similar competency in machines uh, which can successfully recognize in human faces so uh, if we can develop the same uh, same competency competency means here if we instill if we instill the cognitive same cognitive processes in the machines then machines can do the same thing which human beings uh, which human which human beings do okay so basically human beings uh, recognize the familiar faces or other faces so if we if we instill the same competency in machines then machines can machines can do the same thing to recognize human faces now what are the uh, different facial features are observed uh, in a face image so here facial characteristics can be organized into the following three levels level one level two and level three now what is level one so level one details 
consists of gross facial characteristics okay so that are easily observable so what are the characteristics are observable on face image so it may include uh, the general geometry of the face and global skin color okay so geometry of the face that means uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the shape of the nose what is the shape of the eye what is the shape of the mouth so these are the basically general geometry of the face and uh, then uh, we will look at the skin color of the face okay so such features can be used to quickly discriminate between a short round face that means whether it is a short round face uh, and uh, an elongated elongated thin face and secondly faces exhibiting predominantly male and female characteristics or faces from different races so that means these are the characteristics which are exhibiting by a face image so if we look at if we we'll, uh, look at carefully the facial geometry and the, the skin color of the face then uh, we can have these uh, characteristics so uh, such characteristics uh, such characteristics uh, may discriminate uh, between discriminate between short round face and an elongated thin face then uh, this face images can exhibit male female characteristics or uh, we can uh, also identify races by seeing the face image okay now what is level to uh, facial features so level to facial features uh, consist of localized uh, face information so such as the structure of the face components like eyes the relationship between facial components so here facial components uh, facial component means both the eyes nose and mouth okay and uh, the precise shape of the face so these features are essential for accurate face recognition and they require a higher resolution face image okay so basically here we consider the uh, relationship between different facial components or different major facial features okay and these features uh, these features are used for accurately recognize uh, recognize the familiar or unfamiliar faces now uh, the characteristics of local regions of the face can be represented using geometric or texture descriptors okay so the facial characteristics which are available on the local region on a face image can be represented using geometric either by geometric or texture descriptors okay so here texture means the skin texture on the face image now what is level 3 uh, facial features so level 3 uh, consists of level 3 details consist of unstructured micro level features on the face so this may include scars uh, freckles skin uh, discoloration and uh, moles so one challenging face recognition problem where level 3 details may be critical in the discrimination of uh, discrimination of identical twins so uh, level 3 uh, generally level 3 uh, feature uh, facial features uh, facial features are not used with the conventional or traditional facial features so whenever uh, there will be uh, there will be additional level 3 features with the traditional facial features then that means uh, for critical work or for critical work or uh, for critical uh, classification of uh, faces we use this level 3 features in addition to the traditional features okay so that means we at the one, at the one hand we will take the traditional features on the other hand we will take the level 3 features so level 3 features is the uh, level 3 features uh, include some kind of special marks on the face images okay so this face uh, this uh, this uh, special facial uh, facial features are not available on all the faces so this is not very common features okay that is why sometimes we need to add this level 3 features with uh, the traditional features so that we can have 
so we can have the we can have the task to identify recognize identify identify or verify the faces in critical situations okay so basically uh, this is used for the critical situations where it is very difficult to uh, separate uh, separate two faces or uh, one face from the rest of the faces so therefore this level 3 features are uh, used with the traditional features now what are the different face recognition techniques are uh, available so i have put this uh, diagram uh, uh, which is available in the onil k join book um, there are so many uh, different classifications are available but uh, i follow this classification because uh, the, uh, i think this is very standard classification of face recognition techniques okay so many other uh, classifications are available many other many other uh, face recognition techniques are uh, classifiers according to uh, according to the different perspective but as i follow this uh, uh, classification therefore i will discuss all the face recognition techniques based, based on this classification okay so here face recognition uh, face recognition uh, approaches are divided into uh, three groups one is called the appearance based uh, techniques or appearance based approaches model based approach and texture based approach now appearance based uh, appearance based uh, approaches means appearance based approach generally uh, generally generates uh, a compact uh, form of uh, features okay that means whenever we will have a face image that means that uh, whenever we acquire the face image by acquisition system then that uh, from that face image uh, we extract a compact set of features okay by appearance based method so basically appearance based method or appearance based techniques are used for getting the compact form of uh, features so we can uh, we can divide the appearance based uh, appearance based method uh, further into two groups one is called the linear subspace method another is called non linear subspace method now what are the different linear subspace uh, methods are available so principal component analysis linear discriminant analysis independent component analysis these are the linear subspace method so non linear subspace method are also available whenever uh, we use the kernel uh, in the linear subspace method then that becomes non linear subspace method okay that means if we use the kernel trick or kernel strategy in principal component analysis then that will be called kernel principal component analysis okay so that uh, then uh, then that uh, technique will not be called uh, linear subspace method that will be called non linear subspace method and we introduce this kernel trick or kernel strategy for getting the non linear subspace uh non linear subspace features that means the compact form of that feature using non linear subspace method that means whenever we will introduce the kernel trick or kernel uh, kernel strategy in the linear subspace method then that becomes a non linear subspace method okay now uh, these are the uh, techniques which uh, which come under uh, appearance based method now model based uh, model based method used a 2d 3d uh, 2d 3d face images uh, for uh, face recognition okay now uh, we can divide the model based techniques into uh, two groups uh, 2d uh, 2d model based techniques and 3d model based techniques so uh, 2d model based techniques consist of elastic bunch graph matching and active appearance based model so not only active appearance based model we can have the active shape model okay active appearance model active shape models uh, these are also uh, these are also model based techniques okay so here elastic bunch graph techniques actually actually this technique is not the model based technique it is the feature based techniques however uh, whenever the classification was made uh, this elastic bunch graph matching technique was uh, was classified as model based techniques okay 
rather than uh, rather than uh, feature based technique so there is no feature based uh, no feature based classification was meant therefore uh, this uh, elastic punch graph matching techniques was included uh, in the model based techniques okay now 3d uh, model based techniques are available like morphable model so in the morphable model uh, we uh, reconstruct the 3d faces from different viewpoint of 2d faces okay so uh, we can use uh, we can use different uh, we can use different acquisition systems to get the 2d face or th and 3d face okay so we can use uh, we can use simple detail camera to capture the 2d faces but for 3d faces so 3d faces are also known as the range images 3d range images okay so 3d range images uh, uh, exhibit the surface information about the face images okay now there are two different uh, acquisition systems are available for getting the 3d images one is called uh, one is called the laser scanning technique and another is called uh, the reconstruction technique okay so by reconstruction techniques in the reconstruction technique what happens we we get a set of uh, 2d face images from different viewpoint then we uh, merge those uh, different uh, 2d face images by mosaicing technique or we can have the different technique and uh, that create a 3d face okay but uh, the accuracy of this reconstruction uh, is not uh, is not very good uh, when it is compared with when it is compared with the 3d face which uh, which is uh, captured from a laser scanning technique so the 3d face which is captured by laser scanning technique gives the best accuracy than that of reconstruction techniques okay so this morphable model is nothing but the reconstruction technique or uh, we can uh, use the laser scanning technique uh, to uh, use uh, to use this morphable model for model based face recognition now uh, we can have the texture based uh, method or texture based uh, techniques so texture based techniques uh, mainly divided into two groups gradient orientation and local binary pattern in the gradient orientation we obtain the uh, we obtain the gradient at each pixel point okay and then we, uh, then we obtain the orientation uh, of the gradient so uh, this gradient orientation techniques is very traditional uh, texture based techniques uh, in many uh, face recognition system this texture based techniques are used uh, for recognizing uh, recognizing the frontal view faces and uh, if there is any post uh, there is a, there is any uh, post uh, post changes or uh, or any illumination uh, illumination changes then we can have another technique which is known as local binary pattern so local binary pattern is a uh, local binary pattern is a, a local descriptor many other local descriptors are also available like local graph structure and uh, different variant of local graph structure and local binary patterns are also available so we can use those techniques uh, as texture based techniques and uh, this basically this uh, local binary pattern or local graph structure uh, are used for uh, used for uh, texture based uh, face recognition and uh, whenever there is a whenever there is a challenges uh, like uh, illumination conditions or, or post changes or facial expression then uh, we can use this uh, local descriptor for recognizing the faces efficiently now what are the different advantages of face recognition system so unlike fingerprint uh, face can be captured at a uh, at a longer stand up distance using non contact sensors so therefore face is a suitable biometrics identifier in surveillance uh, application that means uh, we can use the face recognition system without uh, without letting the uh, subject uh, without letting the without uh, without letting the subject uh, or, uh, or or without interfering uh, the subject uh, 
to capture the face image uh, from a distance okay now the this face images convey not only the identity but also the emotions of a person like uh, the happiness and anger as well as biographic information like gender ethnicity and age the automated recognition of faces and associated emotion is necessary for designing interactive human computer interfaces so this is another advantage of face recognition system so there are a large legacy of face databases okay um, for example us diverse license uh, repositories covers over 95% of the adult population so which enable large scale analysis of the face modality in terms of individuality or scalability so as you know that face images are easily available uh, today uh, from different social networks or from uh, different id cards related information so uh, therefore uh, the face recognition uh, face recognition has a legacy of face databases so therefore uh, we can use uh, this uh, face databases for large scale analysis so this is another advantage of face recognition now it is uh, no face recognition compared to other biometric traits like fingerprint and iris so people are generally more willing to share their face images in the public domain as exhibited by the increasing interest in social media applications okay like facebook uh, facebook instagram their linkedin with functionalities like face tagging okay so due to above reasons face recognition has a wide range of applications in law enforcement civilian identification surveillance system and entertainment amusement systems so these are the advantages of face recognition systems now what are the source of face image if we uh, look at uh, if we look at if we look at the environment or the situations carefully then uh, we can see that uh, face images are easily available in different environment okay so we can uh, we can obtain a, uh, we can obtain the face images from webcam we can obtain the face images from cctv camera we can have the thermal or infrared camera uh, okay so we can have the normal uh, we can have the face images from normal dslr camera we can have face images from mobile phones we can have face image from different id cards and phones okay so these are the sources of uh, face images now if we look at uh, if we look at uh, this diagram of a typical face recognition system then this typical face recognition system may include a number of subsystems okay so here you can see a diagram of a face recognition system and this face recognition system consists of a number of subsystems okay so the first subsystem uh, may be image acquisition then uh, we can have the face detection subsystem then we can have pre processing subsystem then we can have feature extraction subsystem and then uh, we can have a training module and finally we uh, we will uh, we will go for the evolution okay now uh, when uh, face recognition when a face image is uh, face image is uh, acquired by the acquisition system then that face image is go for face detection now what is face detection so face detection uh, face detection involves the uh, involves the detection uh, of a face in a, in an image okay now basically basically that uh, that image may contain not only faces but other objects also okay now we have to separate the face image from non face objects or non face uh, non face uh, non face particulars okay so we have to we have to separate the uh, face portion from non face portion in the image okay so this task is done by the face detection subsystem so in the face detection subsystem we detect the face image then we uh, localize the face image in the pre processing subsystem in the pre processing subsystem we obtain the roi region of interest 
after uh, getting the first uh, phase detection after getting the phase uh, detected in the image then roi is detected and after getting the roi we uh, we remove the noise or we reconstruct the missing uh, missing signals or missing features in the face image so after pre processing uh, then uh, we go for feature extraction so in the feature extraction we extract the facial features so it may be the geometric features it may be the texture feature features it may be the model based features it may be the appearance based feature so according uh, so uh, depending upon the application area depending upon the uh, depending upon the design complexity depending upon the requirement of the requirement of the requirement of the face recognition system so here the application area is very important if we use uh, if we use the face recognition for small set of uh, small set of subjects or small set of persons uh, then uh, the design difficulty uh, so design complexity will be reduced okay because uh, there is a small set of population and for this small set of population we don't need any uh, any complexity in the face recognition system therefore we either we can uh, remove uh, some subsystems or we can uh, we can simplify the process in the face recognition system okay so therefore the application requirements is very important so depending upon the application requirement or depending upon the situation where the face recognition system will be used we can uh, we can increase the design complexity or we can reduce the design complexity and accordingly the subsystems will be added or subsystems will be uh, subsystems will be removed from the face recognition system okay so in the face uh, face uh, facial in the feature extraction uh, module or feature extraction subsystem we extract the distinctive facial features and then this facial features is encoded into uh, in, into a feature vector and this feature vector are uh, used for training okay for the, whenever uh, whenever uh, whenever we go for the enrollment process then uh, all the subsystems all the subsystems are working in the enroll, enrollment process also by enrollment process we get the uh, we get the template or we get the encoded feature set uh, that are used for the training purpose okay and whenever uh, we uh, we use another phase that is the testing phase okay or recognition phase or verification phase then this that uh, verification phase or recognition phase is used for uh, testing a face image whether that face image is matching with some uh, some face image in the training data set or not okay so that is called the evolution subsystem or evolution module in the evolution module we basically match the unknown face of the known face with the uh, with the uh, with the face in the training cell okay now in the uh, depending upon the depending upon the decision of the evolution evolution subsystem uh, the face uh, may be accepted by the system or rejected by the system in the verification in case of identification the evolution will uh, uh, generate uh, e evolution uh, subsystem will retrieve the face image from the training data set and that becomes the true match of the corresponding query face image now uh, why face recognition so why we so why we give importance face recognition over other biometric traits or biometrics recognition systems now there are some reasons so uh, face uh, uh, face images are natural uh, choice in next generation smart environment okay so uh, it has the natural place in next generation smart environment it is able to recognize at a distance without requiring without requiring uh, pause and present uh, interaction that means without uh, without interfere without uh, uh, interfering the uh, subject we can uh, we can take the face image at a distance okay so from certain distance uh, we can take the 
face image uh, without uh, disturbing the subject. So it does not require uh, generating special electromagnetic illumination. Okay, so for any illumination condition, we can uh, capture the face images. It does not restrict user movement. Okay, so face recognition does not restrict user movement. So user can move uh, freely, and during that uh, during that movement, uh, face recognition system capture the face images for recognition purpose or identification purpose. Okay, and face recognition. Uh, Face recognition is a low power in, in, inexpensive. Okay. Here humans identify other people by their face. Therefore, uh, uh, as I told you, that uh, uh, they are likely to be you know, compatible with systems that use face recognition. So humans are uh, humans feel comfortable with the with face recognition systems uh, that use face images. For uh, verification or identification purpose. So here it is the uh, global face recognition market uh, in 2016. It was estimated uh, as 2.35 billion, and uh, in 2021. Uh, it is estimated uh, 6.49 billion. Now you can see the incremental growth, the face recognition market. So uh, your face recognition, uh, face recognition concept was uh, used in many uh, uh, movies. So here, uh, here you can see that the first movie was Star Trek. Uh, in 1966 that was used the face recognition concept where face scans uh, face scans were used to enter the archives in star trek into darkness so these are the some movies where face recognition concept was used okay so here you can see that from this chart that face recognition is face recognition is so popular the concept was so popular that uh, it was used in uh, many uh, movies. So till now, six movies are used face recognition concept, and five uh, movies are used voice ID. Here you can see that uh, four movies are used retina scan. Then uh, DNA ID was used by four movies. So here you can see a list where different biometrics uh, uh, concept. Uh, uh, were used in different uh, movies. Now, what are the different challenges of face recognition system? Now, these challenges make the face recognition uh, face recognition uh, system uh, quite difficult to recognize uh, the faces. Okay, whether it is familiar faces or unfamiliar faces. So, these challenges make the face recognition difficult to recognize the faces. Okay. Now, what are the different challenges? So, if you look at the uh, images carefully, uh, then you can see that the in the first row, first image, you can see the twins. Okay, so twins uh, face images are very challenging face images to recognize. So uh, here, if uh, if uh, here you can see that there are four uh, there are four twins images. So in this uh, four, the, so here the facial features are mostly same, um, although they are different. Uh, they are different subjects, but facial features are mostly same. So interclass in differences are very minimum. Okay, interclass different differences are very minimum. So uh, this is a uh, this is one of the uh, this is one of the. Uh, challenges of face recognition system. So other challenges you can see. If we see the last uh, last image on the first row, then you can see that there is a crowd. Okay. Now to recognize a person or subject in the crowd is very difficult. Okay. So in the crowd, so a face image cannot uh, cannot be seen fully. Okay. So a partial uh, partial part of the face image may be seen, or uh, or the face image will be covered by some other faces. So 
these challenges uh, these challenges are uh, very uh, common in unconstant face recognition system okay we can have the other challenges like uh, if you see uh, if you see the if you see the first image on the second row then uh, you can see the uh, here we have the uh, facial expression different facial expression so uh, in the uh, so in this situation uh, different facial expressions uh, can create uh, challenges or problems for face recognition system okay so we have to address these problems also so uh, nowadays many face recognition systems uh, have been developed so which are successfully addressing these facial expression problems now if we look at the second image on uh, second image on the second row then uh, this was taken uh, during uh, during a riot which was uh, uh, which was uh, happened in uh, london in 2011 okay now in this situation if you think about to recognize some faces then uh, this will be difficult for a face recognition system because some face uh, some uh, some faces may be covered okay and some faces may be partially uh, partially seen or uh, partially captured so to recognize these faces are very uh, difficult for a face recognition system now in case of uh, in case of uh, airport uh, if you if you look at some faces or if you if you monitor or if you uh, if you uh, if you going after some suspect person or suspect subject then that will be difficult for the face recognition system to recognize okay so if if you if you do not have any information about that suspect person or suspect individual then that becomes very difficult for a face recognition system to identify that face so you can you can uh, you can capture that face but uh, if you do not have any database for such person or such suspect individuals then that becomes difficult for a face recognition system to recognize such type of faces okay now here you can see another face image another image uh, the last image on the second row here you can see that uh, the boss uh, i think uh, you all have heard about the boston bombing case okay so that uh, here you can see the suspect uh, who is uh, who was uh, wearing a cap so uh, that that person was that person was identified as the suspect of boston bombing case okay so uh, here you can see that uh, top from the top uh, uh, from the top of the from the uh, from the top of that uh, place and that cctv was uh, captured that face image and that face image was partially seen or partially uh, partially observed so uh, that partial face image recognition is very difficult for a face recognition system so traditional face recognition system cannot be used for recognize such type of faces because this is this is the case of unconstant face recognition system so in the unconstant environment so face can be appeared in uh, uh, in difficult situations okay so in, there will be a illumination changes there will be a post changes so there will be a profile changes there will be a facial expression changes okay so uh, so these these are the challenges uh, which are observed in the unconstant environment now to recognize a face in unconstant environment is a difficult for a face recognition system that means the traditional face recognition system is unable to unable to recognize this uh, this type of faces so we need some special we need some special kind of face recognition system which can deal with these situations or which can deal with these challenges okay now another type of uh, face images are uh, also available if you look at the first image on the last row then uh, there will be some obstruction obstruction means there is some occlusion okay so occluded face are also available for recognition so if you are uh, if you are having the occluded face then you have to also recognize uh, this type of faces uh, despite having 
this uh, obstruction or this occluded uh, or occlusion now uh, if you look at the third image on the last row then you can have the uh, these images are obtained from uh, different modality of face recognition system okay different modality means if we consider the visible face for recognition then that will be called the visible face recognition if we consider if we consider the infrared face for recognition then that will be called infrared face recognition now this infrared face recognition cannot be matched with the infrared face which is already given in the database okay we have to match the infrared face or thermal face or sketch face whatever whatever forms of face images are available for identification or verification we have to always match those face images with the visible face image that is the challenge okay so visible face image is one modality uh, sketch image is uh, one modality infrared face is one modality thermal face is one modality okay so these are the different uh, different modalities of the face images now uh, across the across the different modality of face images so whenever uh, we have this kind of uh, this kind of uh, face images which are obtained from different modality then that becomes uh, that becomes a uh, that becomes a challenge for a face recognition system mainly for traditional face recognition system the traditional face recognition system cannot handle this uh, situation or cannot handle these challenges therefore we need a, we need some special kind of face recognition system that uh, that deals uh, that deals with the uh, that deals with the different modalities of face images which are obtained from different situations or different environment okay so these are the different challenges of face recognition system any questions from any questions from this part of uh, this part of lecture excuse me sir yes uh, sir not a question more than it's a request sir, sir uh, we got that uh, about the uh, facial recognition and all the system how it is uh, like what are the problem we faced and uh, what are the procedure but uh, are we going to implement it because if we implement it then it would be really nice that uh, we would face the actual problem uh, on our side uh, practically yes, yes 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 i am thinking about that uh... Uh, from the next class uh, i will be discussing all the topics at implementation level okay yes sir. so i will pick up one one such technique then i will be uh, discussing uh, that technique uh, for face detection or face recognition so uh, from the next so this was the this was just the introduction on face recognition okay so from the next class i will be uh, trying to discuss uh all the topics at the implementation level so that uh, you can understand uh, you can understand the difficulties of uh, difficulties of biometric systems uh, and the design complexities of biometric systems so you can design your own biometric system if you want once you understand the implementation uh, implementation details then you can go for implementation or you can go for the development of bi biometric systems Yes, sir. that's what I am asking. Like, uh, are we going to work with yes, like, yeah, 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 like yeah. open CV so, and all? Yes, yes. I am going to. I am going to discuss. Uh, I am going to discuss all these topics at implementation level. So this was just the introduction. Since uh, today, uh, today uh, we are introducing this face recognition system. So when uh, we will go into the details, then uh, we will talk about the uh, different techniques at the implementation level. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, wow. is that okay for you? Hello. Yes, Abhijit. Sir, what are the basic things uh, required for implementation uh, in face recognition system? Uh, if you are familiar with Python programming language, then that will help you to uh, design all these computer vision techniques or all these computer vision algorithms.
sir i know python sir uh, python then open cv open cv libraries okay okay and uh, different uh, different deep learning uh, deep learning models okay if some of you are familiar with deep learning models okay and what are the different frameworks are uh, necessary to run those uh, deep learning models then uh, that will help you to uh, implement uh, such uh, biometric systems sir uh, uh, we are not uh, too much uh, know about uh, deep learning but only little bit uh, machine learning uh, like uh, linear regression and this uh, little bit no because uh, basics only no no i will be discussing all these topics okay okay, okay sir to so some of the some of machine learning techniques i will be discussing in the next okay. classes okay okay so so let me let me complete the biometrics uh, uh, recognition system okay so in biometrics recognition system so today uh, we have started face recognition system once the face recognition system uh, will be completed uh, we will uh, we will start fingerprint recognition system and then uh, we will start after fingerprint recognition system we will start palm print recognition system then iris recognition systems so once all these biometric systems uh, are completed then we will go for machine learning techniques and image processing uh, image processing uh, techniques okay okay sir so all will be discussing at implementation level and so we will get some live implementation right so uh i think there is no lab for this subject uh, sir like separately if you do we won't uh, object for that sir. yeah so uh, we sir. want to implement all these things sir practically okay some of some of you may be interested uh, to know no, sir we all are no no there is it. no the thing is that there is no lab for this subject okay so that is why that is why it will be uh, i don't know so you can to... implement it on your uh, laptop and you, uh, you can uh, show okay that uh, that i can that i can show you that i can show you okay okay sir okay sir okay so uh, that's all for today and in the next class uh, we will be discussing uh, about face detection techniques okay thank okay you. sir okay so thank you sir we will look ahead for the implementation sir thank you sir